Hello friends, now in this video we will learn how to find out the inverse of a matrix by using adjoint method. I am explaining all the examples in a very simple language and I hope that you will understood all the problems. At the same time, I am teaching on an academy platform for M1 and M2 for this standard 12 as well as for the CET preparation for the CET examination. And after this video, you will uh, you can see uh, some PowerPoint slides from the An Academy. Okay, and if you like it, then you can take the subscription of it. And if you want a discount a discount from An Academy, then you can apply my promo code that is Vasant Sir. Okay. Also in uh, description box. I am giving the free lectures of an academy of myself in the description box you can see all my lectures free lectures an academy plus subscription master batch for mst ct 2021 learn from top educator of mst ct for the preparation okay in depth analysis of the topics pratyek topics se detail madhe tumhala shikvala jai Dedicated doubt clearing session and these batches are starting from the 4th of January. You can enroll now. And if you have a subscription, you have a discount, you have a promo code. That is a wasant sir. Next, these are the benefits for the plus subscription. That is everything under single plus subscription. Next, the best plan for MST CET 2021 aspirant for the 12 month for the 6 month. Okay. New batches starts every Monday. Okay. You can use this uh, promo code. Again, okay. these are the top educators. So, to my detail, my day she could have done the same day. Bordacha exam she practiced as well as see teacher making practice. Kerizai next is test series are also there and academic test series. Next, how to attempt the test series? I did the delay and a hazard to be promo for Mazawa Perla. तर निश्चितच तुम्हाला त्यामध्ये डिस्काउंट मिळेल डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स मध्ये देखील लिंक दिले आहे अकॅडमीच्या फ्री क्लासेसच्या निश्चितच तुम्ही ती लिंक बघा आणि त्यावरचे माझे व्हिडिओ बघा निश्चितच तुम्हाला परीक्षेसाठी 12 वीच्या बोर्डाच्या परीक्षेसाठी आणि त्याचबरोबर एमएसटी सीईटी साठी देखील तुम्हाला त्याचा फायदा होईल now find the inverse of 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 5, 2, 4, 7 by adjoint method. Find the inverse of this matrix by using the adjoint method. Now let us start. Let A is equals to 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 5, 4, sorry, 2, 4, 7, there is a 2, 4, 7. First of all, find out the determinant of this matrix. Here is a determinant of A is equals to 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 5, 2, 4, 7. Okay. Now we are 1 into 1 into 7, that is 7, 4 into 5, 20, minus 2. And next is 1 into 7. 1 into 7 is 7. 2 into 5. 10 and last is 3 in bracket 4 
minus 2 4 minus 2 now next is a that is a 7 minus 20 here is a minus 30 3 7 minus 10 minus 3 minus 3 minus 2 plus 6 and next is a 4 minus 2 that is a 2 2 into 3 plus 6 and overall that is a 6 plus 6 12 and minus 12 there is a minus 1 and that is not equals to 0 therefore a inverse exists ok a inverse exists first we have we have to find we have to find the cofactor cofactor matrix okay cofactor matrix uh, that is equals to a i j okay what is the its order is a 3 by 3 where a i j is equals to minus 1 raised to i plus j m i j okay now a11 the first element is a a11 minus 1 raised to 1 plus 1 m11 okay. and here is a 1 1 that is a 1 5 4 7 1 5 4 7 and it's a value in the 7 minus 20 that is a minus 30 this is the first one next is a12 a12 minus 1 raised to 1 plus 2 and here is a m12 ok m12 the element is that here M12 that is a 1, 5, 2, 7, which is a 1, 5, 2, 7, 1, 5, 2, 7, and here is a minus 1 raised to 1 plus 2 means overall you will get minus here, and after evaluating here the 1 into 7, 7. 2 into 5 minus 10 here and overall the element is a 3. Okay. Now next A13. A13. That is a minus 1 raised to 1 plus 3. M13. And you will get here M13. M13 that is 1124. That is a, there is a 1, 1, 2, 4. And that is equals to 4 minus 2 for all. You will get 2. Next is A13. Sorry, A21. There is a a to one, A to one, minus one raised to two plus one, M to one, minus one raised to two plus one, M to one, 
minus 1 raised to 2 plus 1 overall you will get here minus and m to 1 now delete the corresponding element in column and the row therefore you will get 2 3 4 7 it is a minus 2 3 4 7 and hence you will get minus 2 into 7 that is a 14 minus 12 and overall you will get minus 2 okay a to 1 next is a, a to 2 which is minus 1 raised to 2 plus 2 and here is a m to 2 okay m to 2 now see this here this is a 1 delete the corresponding element in column and the row Therefore, the elements are the 1, 3, 2, 7. Here is a 1, 3, 2, 7. Now, their multiplication 7 minus 6 and that is equals to 1. Next is A, 2, 3, minus 1 raised to 2 plus 3 m 2 3 overall you will get minus here is a 8 2 3 a 2 3 second row and third column delete the corresponding element in the column and the row and then you will get 1 2 2 4 and here is a 1 2 2 4 and evaluate this that is a minus 4 minus 4 and overall you will get 0. Next is a, a 3 1 that is a minus 1 raised to 3 plus 1 m 3 1 overall it is a plus now and m 3 1 see this here m 3 1 that is the third or first column delete the corresponding element column and the row you will get uh, that is a 2 3 and 2 3 1 5 there is a 2 3 1 5 and what is that 10 minus 3 that is equals to 7 this is next is a 3 2 that is a minus 1 raised to 3 plus 2 m 3 2 that is a minus okay m 3 2 here m 3 2 delete the corresponding element in the column and the row you will get 1 3 1 5 1 3 1 5 there is a 1 3 1 5 and that's why that is a minus 5 minus 3 overall you will get minus 2 okay and the last is a 3 3 which is minus 1 raised to 3 plus 3 and here is a m 3 3 minus 1 raised to 3 plus 3 it will become plus okay therefore that is a 3 3 is here uh, delete the corresponding element in this column and the row you will get 1 2 1 1 1 2 1 1 and evaluate this therefore you will get 1 minus 2 and overall it is a minus 1 therefore the cofactor cofactor matrix is cofactor matrix is that is equals to What are the cofactors? We see this here. 
the first is minus 13, 3, 2. Here we are. A, 1, 1, A, 1, 2, A, 1, 3. A, 2, 1, A, 2, 2, A, 2, 3. And the last row is A, 3, 1, A, 3, 2, A, 3, 3. Okay. This is the last one. And the corresponding elements are, the first is, a11 minus 13 3 2 minus 13 3 2 next is a21 minus 2 1 0 minus 2 1 0 and the last is 7 minus 2 minus 1 7 minus 2 minus 1 now the A inverse, okay, this is the, therefore, the A inverse is equals to 1 upon determinant of A into adjoint of A, okay, that is equals to 1 upon minus 1. Therefore, now here A inverse that is adjoint of A. Therefore, the first row will be that is a minus 13 minus 2 7 3 1 minus 2 2 0 minus 1. And here is a 1 upon minus 1 and after the minus sign then you will get that is 13 2 next is a minus 7 minus 3 minus 1 2 minus 2 0 1 and this is the a inverse Find the inverse of 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1 by adjoint method. Let the matrix is equals to A is equals to. Now, first we find out the determinant of the matrix. Determinant of A is equals to 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1. And that's equals to 1, 2, minus 6, next is 0, 1, and in bracket, 0, minus 2, for all you will get minus 4, and here is a minus 2 that is equals to minus 6. Therefore, determinant of A is equals to minus 6, which is not equals to 0. And hence, therefore, A inverse exists. A inverse exists. Now, we we'll find out this inverse by adjoint method first we have to find the cofactor matrix factor matrix that is equals to capital A IJ whose order is 3 by 3 where where 
a i j is equals to minus one raised to i plus j m i j. Okay. Now here a one one is equals to minus one raised to one plus one and see this here a one one. Delete the corresponding element column and the row, then you will get 2, 3, 1, 2. Okay. 2, 3, sorry, 2, 2, 3, 2, 1. Okay. 2, 3, 2, 1. Therefore, the sign is plus and determinant is a 2 minus. 6 2 minus 6 that is a minus 4 next a12 again minus 1 raised to 1 plus 2 okay minus 1 raised to 1 plus 2 then delete the corresponding element in column and the row 0 3 1 1 0, 3, 1, 1. That is equals to minus. Evaluate this. 0, minus 3. That is equals to 3. Next is A, 1, 3. Minus 1 raised to 1 plus 3. Minus 1 raised to 1 plus 3, 0 to 1, 2. 0 to 1, 2. Evaluate this. That is equals to 0 minus 2. And here is a minus 2. Next is a 2, 1. Here is a 8, 2, 1. That is equals to minus 1 raised to 2 plus 1. See this here. 8 to 1. Delete the corresponding element row and the column. 0, 1, 2, 1. 0, 1, 2, 1. Here is a 0, 1, 2, 1. Overall, this here is a minus sign. 0, minus 2 and you will get here is a 2 next is a 2 2 that is a minus 1 raised to 2 plus 2 and delete the corresponding element in rows and column then you will get 1 1 1 1 okay and here is a 1 1 That is equals to 0. Here is a 1 minus 1. What? We will write again one more step. Here is in bracket 1 minus 1 and that is equals to 0. Next element is a A 2 3 minus 1 raised to 2 plus. 3 a 2 3 minus 1 is to 2 plus 3 delete the element in corresponding column and the row 1 0 1 2 1 0 1 2 1 0 1 2 and here you will have the minus sign 2 1 into 2 2 minus 0 and overall you will get minus 2. Next is A 3 1 that is a minus 1 raised to 3 plus 1 minus 1 raised to 3 plus 1. Delete the element color corresponding element in column and the row you will get 0 1 2 3. 
zero, one, two, three. Okay. Now here is a that the minus one is two, three plus one will be plus, and then three into zero is zero, one into two is two, and four or you will get minus two. Next is a three two. It is a minus one plus two. Three plus two. Minus one plus two. Three plus two. Delete the corresponding element in this column and the row. You will get one one zero three. One one zero three. Here is one one zero three. And here is a minus three minus zero. And that is equal to minus three. And the last a three three minus one plus two three plus three. Okay, minus one plus two three plus three. Delete delete the corresponding element in column and the row. You will get one zero zero two one zero zero. Zero two. That is equals to two minus zero, and here you will get the two. Therefore, the cofactor matrix is cofactor matrix that is equals to. Is this the element? The first is minus four, then three, minus four, three, minus two, minus four, three, minus two, minus four, sorry, three and minus two. Next is Two zero minus two minus two, and the last is minus two minus three minus two minus three, and here is a two. Therefore, a inverse is equals to. Okay. A inverse is equals to one upon determinant of A into adjoint of A. That is equals to what's the determinant? The determinant is minus six. Here is a that is minus. One upon six minus adjoint of a. We write here. This is the cofactor matrix. Therefore, its adjoint is four, three, minus two. First row will become first column. Second row will become second column. That is the two zero. Minus two and third row will become third column. That is a minus two, minus three and two. If we operate the negative sign, then this will become that is a four minus two and two. Next is minus three zero three. Minus three, zero, three, and the last is two, two minus two, 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 and here is a minus two. This is the a inverse. A inverse is equal to one upon six, four minus two, two minus three, zero, three, two, two minus two. This is the a inverse. Solve the next example. Now find A inverse by 
Now here, find the inverse by Adjoint method and by elementary transformation E. The matrix is 1, 2, 3, minus 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 4. Therefore, here is the first of all determinant of matrix that is equal to 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 4. Okay. And this equals to first of all that is a 4 minus 4. Next is minus 2. Minus 1 into 4 that is a minus 4. 1 into 2 is minus 2. And last is 3 in bracket. Minus 2 and minus 1. The first element will be 0, minus 6 and minus 2, that will become plus, there is a 12, minus 9, that is equals to 3, which is not equals to 0, okay. Next, therefore, A inverse exists. Now solve this inverse by adjoint method. A inverse by adjoint method. A inverse by adjoint method. Now we have we have to find find the cofactor matrix cofactor matrix okay therefore here that is a a i z is equals to minus 1 raised to i plus d and minus m i z. Therefore, first element that is a a11 minus 1 raised to 1 plus 1 that is we will get that is 1 2 and 2 4. Here it is 1 2 2, 4 that is equals to 4 minus 4 so 0 next is a 1 2 again minus 1 raised to 1 plus 2 and the uh, corresponding elements are minus 1 2 1 4 minus 1 2, 1, 4. And now solve this. Minus in bracket. Minus 4 and minus 2 overall. You will get 6. A, 1, 3. Minus 1 plus 2. 1 plus 3. Okay. Minus 1 plus 2, 1 plus 3. A, 1, 3. Minus 1, 1, 1, 2. Minus 1, 1, 1, 2, and here is a uh, minus 2 and minus 1. Minus 1, you will get minus 3. Next is A21, that is a minus 1 plus 2, 2 plus 1, A21, delete the corresponding will column in the row, 2, 3. 2, 4. Here is a 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, and that is equals to minus 8, minus 6, here is equals to minus 2, A, 2, 2, minus 1 is 2, 
2 plus 2 okay minus 1 is to 2 plus 2 delete the corresponding element in column and the row you will get 1 2 1 4 sorry 1 3 1 4 there is a 1 3 1 4 and that's equals to 4 minus 3 equal to 1 next is a 2 3 that is a minus 1 raised to 2 plus 3 okay minus 1 raised to 2 plus 3 a 2 3 delete the corresponding element in this column and the row then you will get 1 2 and 1 2 or all it will be 0 1 2 okay and next is a 1 and 2 minus 1 raised to 2 plus 3 minus in bracket 2 minus 2 that is a 0 next is a 3 1 minus 1 raised to 3 plus 1 minus 1 raised to 3 plus 1 delete the corresponding element in this column and the row you will get that is a 2 3 1 2 2 3 1 2 2 3 1 2 and here you will get 4 minus 3 1 next is a a 3 2 minus 1 raised to 3 plus 2 minus 1 raised to 3 plus 2 delete the corresponding element in this column and the row then you will get 1 3 minus 1 2 1 3 next is a minus 1 and 2 what is here a 3 2 ok now solve this for all it is a minus 2 plus 3 therefore you will get minus 5 and last is a a 3 3 minus 1 raised to 3 plus 3 and here is a determinant uh, 1 2 minus 1 1 1 2 minus 1 1 ok therefore you will get 1 plus 2 and that is equals to 3 therefore the cofactor matrix is cofactor matrix that is equals to three. what are the elements that is a 0 6 and minus 3 0 6 minus 3 0 6 minus 3 minus 2 1 0 minus 2 1 and 0 and the last is minus 2 1 0 last is 1 minus 5 3 1 minus 5 and here is a this is the cofactor matrix. Therefore, adjoint adjoint of A is equals to the rows to columns that is a 0 minus 2 1 6 1 minus 5 minus 3 0 3 this is the adjoint of A. Now the inverse of A. Therefore, A inverse is equals to 1 upon determinant of A into adjoint of A. That is equals to 1 upon 3. What is the value of this determinant? 
the value of determinant is 3, 1 upon 3, and here is a 0, minus 2, 1, 6, 1, minus 5, minus 3, 0, and last is 3, okay. Therefore, is A inverse, that is look at the final answer. A inverse is equals to 1 upon 3, 0, minus 2, 1, 6, 1, minus 5, minus 3, 0, and 3. This is the A inverse. Now, A inverse by elementary elementary transformations okay here a into a inverse that is equals to r therefore the a matrix is Okay, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 4. Here is a matrix A. One, two, three, minus 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 4. Next is A inverse and that is equals to identity. Here is a 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. Now by the operation, we can make this 0 by R2 plus R1 and R3 minus R1 by R2 plus R1 and and R3 minus R1 we get we get for the first row is unchanged therefore it is a 1 2 3 here is a 0 3, 5. Next is 0, 0 and 1 into A inverse that is equals to 1, 0, 0, R2 minus R2 plus R1. Therefore, 1, 1, 0, R3 minus R1. That is a minus 1, 0 and 1. Okay. Now, next is, we will make this element as a 1 by 1 upon 1 upon R3 to R2. Therefore, here is a 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 5 upon 3, 0, 0, 1, into A inverse, and here is a 1, 0, 0, 1 by 3, R2, here is a 1 upon 3, 1 upon 3, 0, Next is minus 1, 0 and 1. Okay. Now, next is by the operation by this is the R1 minus 2 times R2. R1 minus 2 times R2. 
we get R1 minus 2 times R2, we get where is a the second and third row is as it is, that is a 0, 1, 5 by 3, 0, 0, 1, and again 1, next is 0, minus 1 upon 3, okay, into A inverse, that is 1 minus, uh, that 2 minus 2, there it will be 0, next is a 3, minus 10 upon 3 and it is a minus 1 upon 3. To the right hand side, R1 minus 2 times R2 and R2 and R3 is as it is 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 1. Here is a R1 minus 2 times R2. This is the R1. 1 minus 2 upon 3 and after simplifying you will get 1 by 3. Next is minus 2 by 3 and last is 0 and these two rows are as it is. Now the by the next operation, we will make this uh, minus 1 by 3 as a 0 by using R1 plus 1 by 3, R3 and next is and R2 plus R2 sorry, R2 minus 5 by 3. R2 minus 5 upon 3 R3. Here is a full matrix. Here we will get the identity 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And here is a A inverse and 2. On this side, R1 plus 1 upon 3, R3. That is 1 by 3, minus 1 by 3. That here is a 0. Next is minus 2 by 3. It's as it is. Minus 2 upon 3. R1 plus 1 by 3, R3. There is a 1 upon 3. Next is R2 minus 5 by 3, R3. 1 by 3 minus 5 by 3 minus and minus will become plus that is 1 by 3 plus 5 by 3 that is 6 by 3 you will get here 2 1 by 3 and here is a 0 that is 0 and last is minus 5 by 3 here is a 5 by 3 ok and here is element minus 1 0 and 1. Okay. Now, this is the identity into A inverse. Therefore, A inverse is equals to 0 minus 2 upon 3, 1 upon 3. Next is 2, 1 upon 3, minus 5 upon 3. And last is minus 1. 0 and 1. This is the A inverse. Okay. Now, we will take as 1 by 3 as a common. Then, this can be written as A inverse that is equals to 1 upon 3 0 minus 2, 1, 2, 1, minus 5, next is, it is a 6, not 2, okay, and last is a minus 3, 0, and 3, this is the A inverse, okay. And in this way, we have completed up to these topics. Now we will see remaining examples in next video. Goodbye.